Where the worst side of the buildings are in show to the few. Where there are outlets for stale air, fumes and sewage is the alley. That's where homes present defences. Though restaurants use the space for dumping and for storage, plastic pallets stacked in piles or stashed among the weeds are recoverable if they're needed. It is peaceful in the alley. No one goes there unless to dump an old bed frame which someone else will set neatly against the wall. A busted wooden bench could have been firewood though maybe when it's a memorial even vandals balk at burning or reusing it. Maybe someone else will take it home and not notice the nameplate. Here it is just rubbish, like the cigarette butts that show people do stand and talk here or do business, like the wallet that probably was stolen and taken here and rifled through and thrown away. But what story can there be behind discarded trousers, a shopping trolley? This is a place of anarchy. Vegetation that would be managed in a garden grows out of the walls, some of it elegant, all of it reckless. Hiding what evidence, what litter, working backwards into the brickwork and undoing it. The people who come here leave their marks, sign the walls, write statements, and yet domestic life is just behind a door or window, surviving and enduring. Though there's decay too, do those who have business in the alley notice that it is potentially a peaceful and a lovely space?